Hello and welcome to Blockchain and Beyond. Understanding blockchains through prototypes and public engagement. Blockchains are complex technology, but beyond the technical, they depend on participation and aim to engage with social concepts such as trust. They connect to imaginaries of hope and disruption, speaking to ways to rewrite society. Here, we look to design practice as a way to create nuanced engagement around these ideas through deeper understandings of what the technologies can and possibly should do. This paper is an annotated portfolio. We present a collection of work covering approximately five years, primarily from multiple researchers in the Design Informatics Research Group in the University of Edinburgh. Many of these projects have been presented at CHI and other venues, and you'll see the references alongside the slides. Blockchain systems have a checkered history. This period of time contained the first large exploits on Ethereum and also the first Bitcoin price crash of 2018, but not the recent drops from the bubble in 2021. The public debate at this point was largely around how can people make money from this and what social institutions might we replace with blockchain rather than uh, current issues of environmental impacts and financial chicanery. In this paper, we present 15 projects that use design techniques to explore ways to communicate about and design with blockchain concepts. To create the annotated portfolio, we have looked across these projects to uncover common themes that speak to HCI concerns about working with these complex networked architectures. We present representative projects from each of the broad groupings, understanding blockchains, public experiences, making the rules and thinking through autonomous things. We then talk about some of the key design and HCI implications of this work. In Understanding Blockchains, we look at four projects, Block Exchange, Attaching Strings, Carry Crop, and Pizza Block, that abstract and distill key aspects or qualities of distributed ledgers, whether simplified metaphors for how blockchains are built or materializing concepts such as self-sovereign identity. These projects aim to develop understanding and stimulate and support ideation, to open out creative thinking with blockchain technology and its possible applications for non-specialists. As an example, block exchange starts with the fundamentals of making peer-to-peer -peer transactions on the public ledger, physicalized with a combination of Lego blocks, countdown math problems, and improvised transactional exchanges. It is involved it is intended to provoke new thinking of value exchange and lead participants to consider what might happen if money is no longer the mainstay. From these projects, we draw out themes around the usefulness of roleplay and tangibility as ways to engage with abstract concepts. We also looked at the interplay between focusing on particular methods and technologies, as in block exchange, or widening out to work with more abstract ideas, as in the workshop on attaching strings to distributed autonomous organizations. We were interested in what levels of technical fidelity supported this and what helped participants to build reflective positions based on the workshop experiences. In public experiences, with happily ever after Bitcoin, after money, seismic seesaw and cash cups, we were interested in experiences that can quickly reach a large number of people and raise awareness about how such technologies may impact society in service of supporting a nuanced public debate. There is a move towards crystallizing interactions around a single key concept that can be communicated extremely directly, but which is nonetheless a seed for more wide-ranging discussion and reflection. We look at this through four projects. After Money reveals current and potential future practices and perceptions of value exchange. It's presented as an interactive installation and associated mobile app that asks participants to trade various things for sweeties work, personal data, or a variety of more or less fictional currencies. The cash cups demonstrate how design and technology can reconfigure the representation and flow of value, exploring social currency and algorithmic rules. The collection of RFID-enabled coffee cups can be used in conferences or other settings to investigate value exchanges around sociality, networking, and of course, coffee. These projects traded on playfulness and defamiliarization to provide an access point into conversations for non-technical audiences, discussing the future of money, banking, currency. They used seamfulness to create moments when someone has to decide what currency to pay with. It is this moment that creates space for thought and allows a move from everyday practices and their structures into speculative realms. Ultimately, the projects here used the exchange of financial value as a gateway to asking what other kinds of value could be traded, thinking into the system through these exchanges rather than the technology behind them. 
In making the rules, we investigate what happens when participants can create their own protocols and contracts. In Geocoin, programmable donations and if this then what, participation and creativity are drivers for engagement. When people start trying to design systems, it's a chance to think through in detail how the networks would operate. Prototyping a system raises questions about how that system would interact with the rest of one's life, so frictions and problems become more apparent. Geocoin sets up an open body storming experience that leads into the ideation and prototyping of geolocated currencies. Participants use a smartphone app to explore smart contract architectures connected to their own city surroundings and design their own value exchanges. Thematically, Geocoin was an infrastructural experience. It draws on methods such as probes and experience prototyping by offering a particular infrastructure that invited participants to intervene in or extend the system, an example of unfinished software as a design approach. These projects all get into ideas of what it is like to formalize ideas in code. Programmable donations asked participants to design new ways of contingent charitable donations, such as giving money if certain events happen. This quickly raised the question of what kinds of limits should be placed on donations, what are acceptable rules and conditions. In the final grouping, Thinking Through Autonomous Things, we look at projects that give objects new agencies. Distributed ledgers, through their coded rules and machine-friendly APIs, offer the possibility for non-human things to have their own wallets and enact financial decisions. This means that a coffee machine can manage its own money, or a bicycle can hire itself out with no intermediaries. Bitbarista is a Bitcoin-enabled coffee machine that explores cryptocurrency, autonomous objects, and supply chains. It has its own Bitcoin wallet, and it negotiates with its users about the supply chains of the coffee they consume. It explores interactions with the machine and perceptions of new models of buying coffee both in the lab and in the wild. This highlighted the quotidian issues of maintenance once the technological excitement had subsided, and it also showed how the machine disrupted existing rituals. The micropayments offered to participants for small tasks were generally not enough to make up for the disruption, and it undermined their sense of altruism and community. Geopact looks at creating location-aware objects that participate in smart contracts. It offers a physical digital infrastructure that can be used to create many different kinds of interaction through location-based smart contracts. As a relatively high-fidelity system, using real Ethereum contracts and a functioning digital communication infrastructure, it was used to explore multiple scenarios in various levels of detail. Initially, it was presented in a simplified form, contextualized through a stylized supply chain where participants took on different roles. Later, the infrastructure provided a real-world context for enactment with bike careers. The more detailed contextualizations gave a clearer picture of how people would relate to the technology, moving from communication, communicating about the technology to using design to map out unexpected technical and socio-political implications. By bringing these works together in an annotated portfolio, a range of themes emerges. Broadly, this physical, embodied, tangible design work catches the limitations of technology. It highlights the challenges of making it work for people and fosters a sense of nuanced engagement. Redesigning the way that capital and value are represented opens up space for different values to be shared and performed, using frictions and defamiliarization to support thinking about change. Making the interactions grounded and social created a space for critiquing social rules and norms, along with a basis for sketching new possibilities. Physicalization helps to think about what happens when non-human things can have wallets and hence some form of transactional power. Overall, by designing a suite of interactions for different stakeholders, we explored the multi-intentionality of these network technologies as they were presented and contextualized differently for the different audiences. Thank you very much for listening.